Okay. Welcome to Verbal Pick Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people. I'd like to welcome y'all to the show. Now, if you hear some laughing in the background, that's my sister Queen Diva uh, <laughs> on the show, and I appreciate her time, right? Because, you know, we're we, we getting ready to delve into a subject. Matter of fact, uh, an, an array of subjects, really, just, you know, dealing with this issue with the COVID-19 and how they just put out um, how... Uh, 70% of the deaths in, in, in uh, Louisiana uh, are, uh, they said African-American, but but for my conscious people, Moors, we'll use the term Moors. Uh, the, the majority of deaths in New York, Michigan, uh, African-Americans. And so we want to get into why could that be? But first, um, I'd like to introduce and welcome my sister to the show, Queen Diva. How you feeling? I am wonderful. Thank you for having me on your show, man. This is wonderful. Well, Thank definitely. Well, you know, we, we go way back to KPFT when you was doing your thing. <laughs> the Divine the Voices. Divine Voices of Queen D, but that's right. That's oh, right. my goodness. Yeah. That's memories. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, man. But 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 as, as as you all know, and for those who don't know, you still uh, in in some form of the business. I know you had the uh, the plays, right? You were doing plays. Well, actually, it's a musical tribute to um, the legendary Phyllis Hyman. Right. I've been uh, successfully producing and performing that for the last seven years in New York City, off Broadway and on Broadway. And um, I also have my own podcast, These Are Diamonds, on Blog Talk Radio. So, yeah, I stayed in the loop with radio, podcasting, and music all these years. Yes, sir. That's right. So, so you, you, you're more than capable of tackling this topic. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, look. So, so th- th- this is where I'm coming from. This is where I'm coming from, right? Okay, okay, okay. Now, since and we, we're gonna start from the root root knowledge, and we'll bring it up until today's time, right? Okay. Now, since we were under the the, the colonizers' tutelage, and they were teaching us, they they taught us uh, religion, English. Uh, how to be quote unquote what they call an American, right? But yet, in order to keep the playing field unequal, we won't allow you to look into these books at this time. We're not going to teach you how to read and write, right? That's that's red flag one because how can we be equal citizens if you hold? How I many meaning like how can we play a basketball game if you holding the ball? You know what I mean? Is is well, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I understand what you're saying. At that time, when when you know the colonists were in charge, they didn't think of us as humans. We right. were the, the animals, so we didn't have any. We had zero rights. Right. So if you had zero rights and you weren't a human, then no, they're not going to teach you to read. They're yeah. not going to teach you to write. Okay. They're not going to teach you to be independent and to be um, able to take care of yourself. They wanted us to be dependent on them because they didn't think. Basically, we weren't human. Right. So that's why, you know, they treat us the way they treat us. Right. And I'm saying that the reason for that was competition. They didn't want No, it, was, huh? it wasn't competition. That's the, that's the problem. People think um, they were trying to keep me down. Cause no, you have to understand, they didn't consider us to be human. So just think, if you are a human being and you are not considering the, the, the slave, um, you know, as property, why in the world would they treat you as if they were human? They didn't think of you as a human. Right, right, so right. it has nothing to do with competition. It has to do with you weren't even you weren't even thought of to be humanized. But so if you're humanized, then yes, they would teach you how to read and how to write and how to you know be independent and have your own house and and your own right. car. And they didn't teach you that because they didn't think of you any more than less. Than a human. Okay, well, let me ask you this: Then how did how could that be when, when Egypt taught the Greeks and the Greeks taught the Romans? When when okay, so when they you, was you, in in the caves, it was Moors, it was blacks who lifted them up, so they knew. We, okay, so you jumping around to a whole other civilization now. We talking about colonists. No, 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 right, right, right. You're right, you're right, you're right. But what I'm saying is, right. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, they knew of us. 
They knew of Timbuktu. They knew of the universities. They they knew of the pyramids. I mean, they, it's not meaning. Hell, when they traveled, whether it was to the Americas, whether uh, whether, whether the Portu- whether the Portuguese traveled, whether the the the, the Spanish traveled, Rome traveled, they ran across black civilization. Yes. Yeah. But see, what you're missing is, and what a lot of people are missing is, they may know of what your past is, but what they think of you right. is what they think of you. Right. And they thought of us as subhuman. Okay, right. So if you're subhuman, they're not going to treat you as a human right. and have give you rights and privileges. Yeah. That's what people are missing. So right. when you're thinking about, oh, well, I, they think I'm in competition, they think I'm trying to take their wives. And they, no. They didn't think you was a human. So they're not going to treat you as such. Right. They they couldn't accept it, it within their core their core being. They couldn't they couldn't bring themselves to accept us as an equal, regardless of what they knew about us. It didn't matter to them because they did not care enough to want to give us that. Right. Um, okay. You know that respect. Okay. We do it because we got to remember they thought of us as being inhuman. Okay. So as slaves, nothing more than a slave. Right. So now. We started saying, okay, well, let's do uh, separate but equal, right? Okay, you. you okay, so the, you jump from colonization but, all the way to 1950, right? Is that where we are now? Right, that, right, that's because, we are? Okay, because okay, <laughs> okay, hold up, because we were colonized. Okay, let's let, let, let's move it forward. We were colonized. Okay, now all of a sudden, okay, civil, civil war was fought. Okay, now you're free. Okay, you're mm-hmm. free. Okay, now, but you still didn't have the the skills to read and write, so you had to turn around and offer your services, sharecropping, and whatnot, until you uh, started educating yourself to catch up with the times and whatnot during that period, right? But we, okay, so we, we were still let me, let's, let's go right where, where you are. Okay, now there was some educated black, and there's some that weren't. Right, but, the but, ones that were educated were the ones up north. The ones that weren't were the ones down south. That's not true. There were no. some down south that were educated right. that could read, but it was very few. No. Those that did and that were able to did actually build universities, you know, like Tuskegee and, and um, Bethune Clark and all that. But majority of them were uneducated. Oh. And they purposely kept them that way so that they can have control. Well, Okay, well, in the sense, but then Queen Queen D, Queen D, uh, you, you, okay, that, that that's fine. But now we got to go into, well, what about the the Moors who came up through Galveston and who was owning land and, and was having slaves and who was mixing with the Native Americans? They had knowledge. They were speaking Arabic. Okay, so that was before. But well, this is because we just been around, Black. Right. I need you to stay focused. Okay, okay you're right. <laughs> but I'm saying, right, but okay, reason. <laughs> True, but I'm saying the reason why I'm jumping around is because foundations was already being laid. The fed found- okay, right. so we built the foundation a- was laid. Remember, the foundation was laid that we were slaves and, and inhuman. That was the okay. foundation. The foundation. Now yeah. to grow yeah. from being inhuman to being human took about what two hundred years? Right. About two hundred years, right. right? Right. And then when they finally got to that point, then you had to okay go from inhuman. To um, being able to have your own separate evil, because you said Jim Crow, right? And then from Jim Crow, you had this get get rid of that to where you actually right. um, affirmative action, what, what, right? And well, then no, the that, no, civil, that was civil rights, okay? Jim Crow. Then that was right. We, we won't. And then, and then affirmative rights. action, and then right. yeah, then affirmative so, action. but it was a process. It was a two hundred and what two hundred fifty year process, <laughs> right? It was a pro- but. But the pro- 265 year process because we're in 2020. Oh, okay. Sorry. So, so 2020. So, what's the purpose? So, what has changed is what I'm saying. Now, look, if you go back, if you go back to uh, the 60s, right, where mm-hmm. they was protesting, they were saying, uh, we want jobs, we want, um, uh, we want, we want housing. You still hear those cries today. But they, they want the police brutality to be stopped. You you got food deserts in certain uh, areas, whether it's from the south all the way up to the north. Yeah. Right now, now look, my point is, is that <coughs> for every step of progression that we make, you got uh-huh. those in charge behind the scenes 
trying to pull that back? Well, I think what it is is that they're trying to keep it at a certain uh, minimum. Right. You go but so far, but not too far. You can have a few millionaires doing this, but not too many. Right. You can have some people in middle class, but most got to be lower class. You know, right. it's about a, it's about a balance. Right. But why? It's why? about a balance. You have too many, but it can be, you know, <laughs> not enough. Right. So it's a balance. But, but why it, it's we, a balance that they've had so far. That's right. So, or tried that. Right, so we're not practicing true capitalism is what I'm saying. No, it is capitalism. It's definitely capitalism. But it's not true capitalism. Because whenever you create a glass ceiling and say, hey, you can only go so far. Mm-hmm. And, and mm-hmm. Because I'm going to enact certain things to be an obstacle in your way. Then what are we saying? But then it would be a controlled capitalism. Okay, well, that's what it is. Okay, let's say we now we're under control. That's what it is. We under control capitalism. Then, yeah. see, because we get into something, we get into something, and I don't want to jump around, but we get into something. Then it breaks out to okay, now, okay, now, now we going into such things as uh, Planned Parenthood, to where when they was giving those uh, depo shots, putting them in, in in young black women, coming to find out as they got older, they were getting cancer and sick and whatnot, meaning. Uh, or, yeah, sterilization. Yeah. Sterilization. Mm-hmm. Now, now, wait, wait a minute. Why are y'all keep hitting at us? When I, what's that all about? I Meaning, it's like, it's like we have to be on guard. But when we on on guard and we suspicious, and then they say, "Well, that's reverse racism," or you being paranoid. Wait, well, goddamn man, I got a whole list of shit you done did to me. You get what I'm saying? Damn, you want me to pick a time? You want me to pick a time in the situation? <laughs> you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, because we're still waiting on the you know, on the, the good era. We're, we're still waiting for a good time to be black. Is that, that's what you're saying? That's what we're I'm still saying. waiting? Because, because, there yet. because right after Obama, we like, okay, okay, Obama rolling. But the first thing he did, okay, he passed law for the gay community. We were like, okay, well, we still give him a shot. But then after Obama, bam, they slammed us with Trump. Yeah. And we say, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hillary won the popular vote, right? But, yeah. but the Electoral College put Trump in, and most of them is rural areas. Yeah. It's like, okay. And so they didn't have a so people didn't go vote, and people couldn't go vote because they weren't registered, or they didn't register in time, or they it was blocked from voting. Right. So it's a control of capitalism. Control of capitalism. That's why they wanted, yeah, that's why they wanted Trump because he's a businessman. That's right. So they didn't want politics. They didn't want politicians. They didn't want a public servant. They wanted a businessman this time around so they can keep the money flowing in their direction and not somewhere yeah, else. Right. So, so all that's what this is about. It has nothing to do with nothing. All this has to do with is money. Is money. So, so are you. That's it. Right. So you're saying that if, 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 if we controlled the dollars or became equal in dollar amount is that something to be be feared or or they don't trust what we do with well, see, it's more than just it's, it's more than just money it's power so power is, is knowledge is power so if you don't have knowledge you don't have power if you don't have money you don't have power if you don't have if you don't know politics you don't know you don't have power so it's right. not about you having money it's not about you having knowledge it's about you having power. So if you don't have power, then no, you ain't running nothing. Right. So the goal is to, to keep doing the things to make sure you don't get in power. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a control. Remember, it's a control capitalism. Right. So it's the control who's in power. Okay. And decide who gets in power, who doesn't get in power. Okay. So if you know who the players are, and you know who's going to rock and roll with you, or who's not, then they're going to block you. Okay. And that's what's been happening, is that it's blocking those that don't need to be in power. Because some people don't need to be in power. That's just a fact. They don't need to be. That's a fact. And then there's some who are in power that know how to be fair. And then there's some who just abuse power. Right. Okay. Now. now. So that's what it's about. That's what it's about. So now let's go back mm-hmm. to, let's go back to Noble Jirali, Marcus Garvey, Armour Elijah Muhammad, Dusali. Now, these were uh, gentlemen who came and said, look, if you want to survive this thing, right, you're going to have to do this, this, and such and so regarding to their teachings, right, or what they taught, right? Because they saw something coming, right? Well, they taught 
to have your own. Right. So instead of trying to mix and mingle with um, the white devil, is how they would say it. Right. Um, instead of trying to get with them or trying to progress with them, just have your own. Have Come your on. own banks, your own schools, your own, um, you know, corporate capitalist, whatever. Your own. Have your own. And so if you have your own, you don't have to worry about trying to mix and mingle with them. That's right. Because... It, but everybody wasn't trying to do that because they wanted, they didn't want separate evil. They didn't want to, mm-hmm. you know, be away from them. They wanted to be all one melting pot. Right. And, but even with that, you're still going to be controlled. Say, so, yeah, you can come live in our neighborhood, but only a few can live in our neighborhood. Right. And those few that live in the neighborhood, they got to behave themselves. That's right. And they got to have a certain income. And they can't have a whole bunch of baby kids. And they, you know, they control. <laughs> 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 That's the only way it's gonna work. Now, if we gotta, if we gotta deal with you, there you go. Then this is how it's gonna go. That's right. If you are not down for that, then you can't be in the neighborhood. That's right. You can't be in this. You can't be on this field. You can't play this game. Mm-hmm. You can't even have the bat or the ball in your That's hand. Right. But, but 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 and so the problem came when a lot of people that you mentioned. They wanted to tell them how to play the game that they already started. Right. You can't, it's like me going on a basketball court and telling the Cavaliers, no, we ain't playing basketball the way y'all playing basketball. Y'all gonna change it the way I want basketball to be played. Right. They're gonna look at me like I'm crazy. Right, but, but, they, they, but they wouldn't actually, but they were saying, okay, well, I tell you what, we the people play basketball this way. Let them play it how they want to play it. But if you play it this way, you'll be more successful. Yeah, that's like, okay, if you're going to be on the team, even, even basketball, great example. When basketball started back in the 1880s, right. it was all white men. Right. There was no black men playing basketball. Basketball was boring to watch. Wasn't right. no, you know, wasn't no theatric. It wasn't entertaining. It was very strategic and technical. Right. Right. <laughs> right. 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 It's like, okay, but if we're going to let you in, because they didn't start letting them in until the late 50s, early 60s. Right. And they really saturated basketball in the 70s. That's right. You know, with Dr. Dre and, 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 all, and Dr. J and all yeah, this. Dr. J, right. They made it entertaining. Right. So when you started making basketball entertainment, and they saw that the money was rolling, oh, yeah, we got to bring in more blacks in here. Well, well, but to see the problem, okay, even though, okay, basketball, but I'm not jumping from basketball. I just, I'm just using baseball as an example. When they had the Negro League. The Negro League was making more money. It was filling up stands than the White League. Then they convinced them to join on with the White League. And that was the and end. And it was you know? slowly. It was slowly. And they really didn't want to. They really didn't want to. Right. Like, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they didn't want because to. Because that was there. If nothing else was there, Cole. It was baseball. Right. If nothing, if no other sport, it was baseball. They really didn't want Jackie Robinson to be on there. Right. Even though he was an excellent player. Even though he got along with everybody, he was a really nice guy. They really didn't want him in there because it was going to change the dynamic of the game. Right. That's my point. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's they the changed point. the dynamic and they didn't want That's that. The <laughs> they didn't want that. That's the point. Man. But they had no choice because progression showed that they wanted it to be more entertaining. They wanted to see more skill. They wanted to see a, a variety on the field and, and, and just more excitement playing the game. And so they had to let him in. And then uh, then Hispanics and then the Chinese and then the, you know, on and on and on to what we got today for baseball. Right. Now, now see, all this tying in together, this, this work with me. So uh-huh. now, now what happened was, okay, you didn't have... Uh, you didn't have, they didn't want blacks out in the suburbs, right? So then, so the black communities, which they said, okay, you can come, stay out here. We, 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 when, when blacks wanted housing, they picked out the areas where they can go. They called them ghetto or the whatnot, which is a German term. And so when when they went out to the the black communities, when they put some of the reverends over those communities, they were still passing on the slave mentality to the community, keeping them uh, as it was back in slavery time. Like, I'm going to put this preacher, you only preach out of this part of the Bible, uh, turn the other cheek, and if the master code, you give him his coat. They was teaching that doctrine to the people, which kept kept the people stagnated, kept them in, in one spot. And then, they kept them in place. 
kept them in place. They kept them in place. They kept them in line. They kept them, you know, exactly where they wanted to keep them. And you're right. Let's example for Houston. Houston was separated in wards. There were certain wards that only black people could live, and certain wards where only white people could live. Right. And you better not cross over the other ward, no matter what time of day. And this was back in, like, the 30s, going to the 40s right. here in Houston. Right. And then over time, when, you know, they started getting the boom, and more money started flowing, and, and black people started making more money, because that whole area over there where McGregor Park, where right. those mega mansions are, right. that's where all the black people used to live. Right. And they still live. Right. And all their mansions, they were only designated to be there in Third Ward, near TSU and U of H. Right. They couldn't go nowhere else. No. But it wasn't until later when they started making more money that said, like, okay, if you can get along with us and do what we say do, then you can come on and move on this side of town. But not too many of y'all. It got to be a certain income. You got to act right, that kind of thing. Then you can mix and mingle the different parts of town. And so now it is the way it is today. Right. But back in the day, you was either in third ward or first ward. I think those are only two wards you could be. You couldn't be nowhere else. Right. Right. Facts. Facts. And so now, so now we get, I'm glad you said that. So we getting into today's, to today's time, because what happened, uh, in the past is affecting what's going on today, especially with this COVID-19. And now we're on the way showing why so many of us, whether it was Louisiana, New York, Michigan, that's dying from this COVID-19. Now you had, um, Dr. Elijah Muhammad, who knew uh, how diet played a major role in because uh, uh, your health goes uh, coincide with your wealth. So he's saying, OK, this is what you should eat. This is what you should not eat, uh, because they knew dealing with, quote unquote, as we say, the white devil. He was going to GMO these foods. He was going to chemically process these foods. He was going to say, OK, look. Y'all eat these navy beans, which is going to take radiation out your system. Uh, don't eat the pork, swine flesh. Don't do so-and-so, 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 right? But then here come the preacher, and here come the commercials. You know, hey, man, you know, get, get all the M&Ms you want. You know, matter of fact, look, these chitlins that y'all made, the delicacy out of the slave, the in, intestines, gay, build, eat, eat as much of that as you want. And then we start noticing a rise in hypertension and diabetes and so and so. So now into the, today's time, by us not heeding these warnings, we losing so many from a disease that attacks uh, your 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 um, immune system, especially if you have high heart disease, high blood pressure, and, and whatnot. You know. But now this is what I'm getting at. And we now we get to the conspiracy part, right? I'm saying that this virus had a patent on it, and they've been new about it. Some say it goes all the way back to 2006. One of the guys that was worked at Harvard uh, was arrested for conspiring with China on these vials of uh, this uh, coronavirus. Uh, that he was trying, 21 vials of it, he was trying to get and take it back to uh, China. But what I'm saying is, wow, man, the people who have the worst diet, all of a sudden the virus comes in the air and, and, and kills the majority of them. I'm just saying, is that, is that, that may sound like a conspiracy, but the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm questioning it is because look at the, the Tuskegee experiment with the syphilis. You know, look at look at how they was taking uh, black women's uh, placenta and drawing melanin and making pills and experimenting without uh, without them knowing it. Look at the, the the organs, man. When young gangbangers was getting shot and they was going to the furnace and found out their insides was gone. You know, it's like what the hell is going on? You know what I mean? I mean, it's to me, to me. Well. Well, the thing is, is this, because, and if you jumped around a couple of different things, the thing is, is this, with um, the two experiments you were saying, they were actually controlled events, where they actually were seeking out, you know, the black women or the black men and, and controlled that at Tuskegee and the other one with the women on the black men. That's one thing. 
But the thing with the coronavirus is, it's not like they dropped the virus and the blacks out of town and it's affecting the black people. It's not that. Would it's just that it got it got affected, you know, in major cities and spread like wildfire. Right. Across the major cities. And so in the major cities where a lot of people are getting it, um, and they told them, and, to, and let's be clear too, the government, especially, in, we'll say in New York, Governor Cuomo, he was very, very adamant about staying in the house. Right. Don't go outside if you have any kind of preconditioned, you know, conditions of health. Don't let anyone in your house. Right. Take care of yourself. Come but on. if you are not adhering to the warning that your highest official in the state of New York is giving you, then yes, you're going to get it. And but they're telling you, especially if you're a certain age, because the most people that are dying are 60 and up who have pre Conditions, right. you know, illnesses. So, yes, you're going to die because you have those, and it's going to happen. And they told them that. Right. And if you still don't adhere to that, then yes, you're going to die. And they let them know that. Right. But, so that's right. one thing. And then the other thing is if you are just rebellious well, yeah, and okay. you just don't, you know, and to me, if what yeah. I see, because I'm a, I'm a minister too, and you know that. Right. And I see a lot of rebellion going on with the way the citizens of America is dealing with this virus. It's like they know what's happening, right. but they still want to do what they want to do. Well, isn't and that... If you still want to do what you want to do, and it's, and it's affecting a choice, a matter of your health, you're going to die. True. And what they're not understanding is that people are... Real, these aren't like fake numbers. This ain't like no reality right. show. This ain't like no movie. This but is real. It's real. But this is real. But and people are dying. But and they're telling them, stay in the house. Don't go outside unless you have to. If somebody can help you with your groceries or check on you, that's one thing. But don't go out there if you know that you are susceptible to getting Queenie. this virus and affecting your yeah. system. But, Queenie, that's why we didn't get the 40 acres in the mule. That's no, why. you going on a whole nother stuff, No, no we, we, I'm going to tell you <laughs> Let me explain why. I'm explain why. <laughs> let, me, let me explain why, Queen D. Let me explain oh, why. Sorry. I gotta explain. I gotta explain why. Okay, because explain that, why. because that 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 will put us on an economic level playing field. Some of these people are dying because they gotta drive these buses. Because some of these landlords they not giving them no reprieve. Some of these people they 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 will turn their lights out. They gotta get out there and make that money to go buy the groceries even if they don't want to because we were so far behind on the economic social scale. Well you know and I can understand that too because a lot of places unfortunately are food deserts and Whatever they can get to is those 99 cent burgers, it's those fries, it's those, you know, those, those 99 cent stores that just right. have all those frozen preservative right. foods. They right. can't get fresh foods, they can't, high right. in sodium, high yeah. in cholesterol. So if, when you have a food desert and you're, and that's the nearest, you know, and you don't have any place to go and you don't know how to shop properly and so right. that's how you get hypertension, that's how you get you know, Fact. high cholesterol. I understand that. They, Sugar, they're drinking well, all these bonus and the fruit punch, Cheetos okay. with the Cheetos with the yeah, nacho cheese in and, and hot chocolate. Triple burgers now. I mean, Come burgers on. came with the triple burgers and McDonald's with the triple Big Mac. Why? Right. Why don't we have a triple Big Mac in 2020? <laughs> we don't need no triple Big Mac. Right. And what is? Right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Look, they know this. That's what I, they, they look. It's like you said. They look at these statistics and they know, and they, they know. know they know that broke folk gonna go to fast food that they don't have time to cook because they're right. working all the time. Got three, four kids. Got to feed them, clothe them, wash them, getting ready for school. Right. You know, but now right. they got to teach them at home. So right. you're like. Why you why you uh, why you think Facebook gathered up all that information and spread it to these corporations and they monitoring what you do? They know that's what that's what, what I'm saying. We gotta wake up because if we if we don't if we don't wake up, <laughs> he said we gotta wake up. Okay. Okay, if we'll we, say that. We if, gotta wake up. Okay, if, then wake up. Wake we, up, drink some water. Right. Cook your own food. Don't go out to eat all the time. Make sure you spend time on your family and teach them how to eat and try to in, in healthy snacks and, and, and um, nice small portions. You know, you, we're getting these big old plates and 
plopping these several spoonfuls of, of, of rice and, and, and mac and cheese. And come on. Right. We're doing this to ourselves, too. We got to place, you know, where, where the blame is. We right. got to take our part in the pot. Right. We're right. thinking about big pie and all these different cups. We got we to gotta take our responsibility of our part in the pot. Now, well, well, it can't just be somebody else. Putting it, it in our mouth. We're putting it in our mouth. We're actually putting it in our mouth. Right, but the, the thing is, is it take it take people like myself and like you who will come and and say what pinpoint what the truth is because it's a fight because you got to realize too is some that's in our community who is getting that money and who's who's spreading the poison to the people and the people they like uh, they like deer in the headlights you know it's this coming they just standing there. And don't know which way to go, you know, because for one, it's like they don't want to upset what, what what their grandmothers and the pastor taught them because they feel bad if they go against it. Because now you, you're not part of the tribe no more, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you're right because people want to belong. Like, right. They want to belong. belong. Even if it's if poison. If you want to belong, you're going to follow you know, you're going to follow the leader. You ain't going to rock the boat. You ain't going to go left. You ain't going to go right. right. So you're right. They do. They want to belong. They want to, you know, please people. People are, ple- people pleasers are the most annoying people on earth. I'm just right. saying. <laughs> right. Right. Look, you dying from pleasing people. You go die. Get out. Run. <laughs> Leave the country. Save yourself. You know, that's what we're saying. Stay woke. You can, it, it, it can't even be the term can't even stay woke. It has to mean wake up. Remember when um Bertie used to say wake up, wake up, wake up. Right. In his movie. That's right. He wake meant up. that. Right. He's he, he saying don't sleep on this. Right. You know don't right. sleep on your life away. Don't sleep your your health away. Don't sleep your finances away. Don't sleep your come on. Let me stop well, preaching. Well, because, don't, don't sleep. Right. That's right. That's right. Because. Look, because the, the uh, sad the sad part about it is, is that you looking to the colonizer to save you, and he ain't saving. He gonna put more poison on you. And it, that's the problem too. Now we're looking at government. We we always looking for somebody to save us. That's right. If we were all together, and that's why we need to be looking at the That's right. Monday through Friday. And, and see, for six hours a day. And that, and you see, know? but the medicine, see, that's what I'm, the medicine is, is what we talked about earlier. What, what, what you were saying, uh, Garvey, Noah Ali, Liza Muhammad, uh, put all it together and make it a, a teaching or some medicine and give it, cause that's, that's what I'm saying. That's the only way out. That's the only way. There's no other way out. The only way out is to to know thyself. Right. That's but, the only way out. And that's if you teaching. don't know yourself, you don't know your life, you don't know what you need. If you mm. always looking to somebody to save you, yeah, you you're not someone to help saved. you, yeah. have your hand out, yeah. you know, oh, well, I don't have a job. The government to give me money. Well, if you save money, hello, somebody. If is you it? save money all these years. Then you would have been looking for, you know, the government to send you a stimulus check. That's right. If you had worked hard and keeping your family sound and happy and healthy, you wouldn't be scrambling to try right. to do that now. If you made sure you got, you know, enough groceries to stock up, you don't have to get those seventy dollar nails and, and that fifteen hundred dollar right. weave. All that money that you were spending on you to look cute that That's you right. can't even upkeep now because everything's shut down. <laughs> and so you, could, you know what I'm saying? You could have put that in your cabinet. That's right. You could have put that in your drawer. You could have put right. that in your bank account because our banks are still 
for now, they're still working. That's so right. you can always still, you know, buy food online and have it delivered. That's right. They're still delivering. That's right. You oh, know, you, so. I didn't get in there and cook something. You know what I mean? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> you said, you, wake you, your dad and cook something. Yeah. Learn how to cook. Learn how to cook. You know what's so great about modern technology? Okay. They have food networks. They got the cooking channel. That's right. They got recipes on, on Google and Yahoo and, and, and Bing. So it's not like you can't learn to cook. Yeah. It's not like you can't learn to boil some water. That's right. That's a microwave. So, that's even a step ahead. Right. You got a microwave. Yeah. You can just put it in there and, turn, and press that's two, right. three minutes. That's right. You know, so... Shock! You can shock your whole family. Shock your whole family. They walk in the door and see you behind a pot cooking something. They be like, "What the?" You might scare them at first thing the world in the end, but then they, you know, they come around and be like, "Damn, a home cooked meal." This is the thing. A lot of people know they grew up with Big Mama. Come on. And 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 Medea. They saw her crack, you know, cracking over, cracking the egg, and 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 breaking the peas and. And peeling potatoes. They know how to cook. Let me tell you something. <laughs> we was around our big mamas and our madeas back in the day. We seen them cook. Right. They made us peel the potatoes and, yeah. and stir the uh, the cornbread and, yeah. and, and wash the peas. They yeah. know how to cook now. Right. They just choose not to. Because uh-huh. uh-huh. you was there as a baby. You can't tell me all these people. All these black people we know, they ain't been around big mama and Madea all these years. And they ain't helped with the kitchen chores. Yeah, and you don't know how to cook some cornbread, and you watch her Come stir on. the the bowl and, and lick the spoon. When Come she on, that's right, Come that's on. right. Couldn't wait, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Couldn't wait to get a hold of that spoon, guys. <laughs> they gonna fight over that spoon. <laughs> fight over the spoon. That was the best part because it was too much work trying to lick the bowl. Now. Yeah, Come for real. <laughs> 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 you go in there, clean up your room, and come back and get a lick of spoon. <laughs> 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 yeah, I care with you, but I can't. I care with you. <laughs> oh, I can't. It's wild, man. But, this, but this, you know, but the thing is, is this: it's easy. It's real easy to blame others. Right. It's real easy. It's hard. To, you know what, what Michael Jackson said, the man in the mirror, it's hard to look in the mirror and see who really in the blame. Right. Who really is the blame? Right. If you don't have no money right now, who's the blame if you're working? Yeah. If you don't have no food or refrigerator and you've had money, now just if you ain't had money, that's a whole other conversation, but if you had money and you use it on weeds and shoes and purses and outfits and going out drinking and hanging out with your girls, that's money that could have been in a cabinet for now. That's right. Thanks. You know, this is some reality checks that a lot of people are going through right now right. and realizing they were being very wasteful. Right. Very wasteful and wasn't thinking and trying. Because I've had a little girl, my great grandmother would say, save for a rainy day. You right. heard that, that statement? That's right. I heard it. That's she right. She always just say, save for a rainy day. That's right. We and she always just say, there's a check always in the mail. Those two come, things. Come on. And if you don't live by those two things, that the check is always in the mail and stay for a rainy day, when a rainy day comes, that's right. guess what? Yeah. You got, you got nothing. You got nothing. And that's what's happening now. And so right. now people are scrambling to go to food banks. They're scrambling right. to go to people's houses to see if they get some food. Right. See if they can, you know, um, you know, waiting on money that, you know, is going to be a minute before it comes. Because truth be told, the government don't have to give you nothing. Facts. Truth Facts. be told. That's a fact. They don't have to do all that they're doing. No. Now, because they're doing it because they are mandatory making the quarantine and they have stopped the economy. Right. That's why they're doing it. But if you was in a socialist uh, uh, country or a communist country, you ain't getting nothing. Yeah. You on your own, Jack. You better go in the backyard and and, and plant (laughs) you some vegetables and, you know... You ain't get nothing. That's right. So, and, truth be told, in a capitalist society, they don't have to. Right. But because they stopped the economy, can you imagine? Yeah. A government stopping the economy yeah. of what? We got six billion people here? Yeah. yeah six billion people in America, at least six, yeah. eight billion people. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, you know, they got a million over there, a billion over there in China, then we probably got about maybe five billion over here. Right. There's a lot of people that this government is in charge of. Right. And if you're not ready for a rainy day, then you at where you at. That's right. And that's the purpose of this show, 
um, is to just hopefully there's not another incident like this or they said this uh, COVID-19 could rear up again, show its face again. Hopefully, well, you know what? If it's not COVID-19, it'll be something else. It uh, will come again. It come again. I mean, uh, if you could look in Revelation, mm-hmm. it's going to come again. Come in. So if it's not like a matter of it's not coming, it's just going to be another thing. We've had several viruses in the last 20 years. We had the right. um, SARS, H- we had H- AIDS, H- we had yeah. Spanish flu, we yeah. had, you know, so yeah, it's man. not like it's not going to come again. It's just going to be another virus. But yeah. are we going to be ready? For right. It? And we're trying to get you all to be prepared and ready right now to, to really show you what matters and what don't matter. You know, matter of fact, be natural, <laughs> uh, be yourselves. You know, as a matter of fact, be honest with you. Men really don't care about all that. No way. The eyelashes and that whatever. Anyway, we ain't looking at that. No all way. All that is meaningless. All that's meaningless. Yeah. But if you want to have something for your family, people thought those militias was crazy where they were piling up on guns and getting yeah. all that food. and put, You know, and the sticks out there, those militias out there. Yeah. They were prepared for something like this. They were ready. They were ready. Yeah. They were ready. Right. And we got to have that same mentality. We got to be we ready. We got to have the same mentality. You got to be ready for whatever's coming right. because something is coming. It's coming. And don't blame nobody. Don't that's expect right. a handout for somebody, but you prepare for yourself. Yeah. And your that's, family. Yeah, because people... And that's the thing. That's right, because people are getting shot trying to come to other folks' house looking for looking their cabinets trying to get some food. Man, these yeah. homeowners are not playing. No, they're not playing because <laughs> if it's on their land, that's their land. You can't come on somebody's land because you didn't prepare yourself. <laughs> right. That's like the, the, the ten virgins. Five had their oil and their land was ready to roll yeah. with, with the room. But the other five scrambling, asking for some oil, and they said, nope. We got enough oil for ourselves. We're getting ready to go on with the bridegroom. You go on down to the you know, to the store and get your own oil and see if you can, you know, work that out. That's, That's right. how it's going to be. That's so right. it's, it's not all ten is going to go inside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Only the ones that got their oil got uh-huh. their lamp ready. That's right. Yeah, they had to go on with the bridegroom. So no, get, get no, your- no more. I would say, and and I would highly recommend. Anyone that's listening to the sound of my voice, don't rely on others to take care of you and your family. Right. Make sure that you, if you're the head of the household of your family, make sure that your family is well taken care of um, and that you don't have to scramble and be worried. And another thing, too, don't be fearful. Although right. this is a very challenging time, right. and I've heard a lot of stories about people who are fearful, who are who are sad, who are having domestic violence issues, right. you know, because people have never been home in this amount of time, cooped up together at the same time. I would say walk in love, pray. If you, you know, if you believe in the higher power, I believe in Jesus. I believe in God. Um, praying will give you peace, um, you know, that we've never known. And to to make sure that you, you stay focused on... Um, yourself and your family and and not on so much on the news because when right. you watch because they their yeah. job is to, is to have you tune in well, that's oh, their job yeah. well they fear they they promote fear right yeah and that's their job so that you can tune in keep watching so their ratings can right. get higher and higher so don't saturate yourself too much with what's going on know enough to be aware but not too much where it causes you fear if you start to fear feel fearful and yeah. then you need to stop listening and watching that and spend time with your family. Spend right. time by yourself. Have a bubble bath. Drink a glass of wine. Listen to the music. You know, play a video game. You know, read a book. Whatever that could give you peace. Right. But don't get caught up in the propaganda and the, um, you know, all that they have going on on TV because that's their job. If you remember that this is television. Sensationalism is what sells. That's what gets them ads. That's what gets them ratings. Right. So don't get caught up in, um, you know, what you're seeing. But at the same time, you know, like 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 Black said, stay woke. Right. But I'm saying, wake up <laughs> wake so that up. you could stay woke. <laughs> <laughs> wake up, get up, huh? For real, definitely. I, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm rolling with you. Hey. It, it, it's it's it, it, it's trying times, and, and and Queen Diva, Minister Queen Diva, I appreciate you being on the show and bringing us such enlightenment and that energy and that spirit to get the people a a, 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 a glimmer of hope because uh, hope can ride on your energy and be transferred to others. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for having me. We've been trying to get me on since December. I know it's just been hectic. 
Yeah. On my end, because I'm going to school, I'm right. working my business, and mm-hmm. my daughter's here, and I'm with my mom. We all, right. you know, three generations under one household, so it's no joke. Right. <laughs> 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 so I don't know. I think it's just the Lord let me to call you because we haven't communicated in about a month or so. That's right. Um, and I had no idea that um, it had gone. So much had gone by so fast, but a lot has been going on both in both our worlds since right. the last time I uh, talked to you. So um, I am really, really happy that we finally did this. And you, you know, and the only way it could have happened if you said. Let's record now. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Why, look, why I had you on the phone, I said, look, let's do it now. You know, because uh, it's been put, it, it, it was put on my mind to do it. I mean, you got to do a show with Queen D. You got to do a show with Queen D. And, you know, it's out there, but but the universe, man, made it happen. You know, at the right time, it just put it together, you know. <laughs> put it together on its own, you know, because that, some of that insight, people need to hear that insight, you know, definitely, man, and especially coming from that that that, that feminine energy too, you know what I mean? In this day and time, from from. Well, that's true. You you do want to see, you want to hear both sides, and you want to hear, you know, more than one side. Because if you only hear one angle, you can't really grow because right. it's just one dimensional. And you want to be able to rise up and learn wisdom in all facets of wisdom. A lot of people limit themselves and never limit yourself, you know, never limit yourself when it comes to wisdom. You know, mm-hmm. always be open to at least hear a different point of view. Right. And don't lock yourself in believing that it's just one way. Just listen right. and see how yeah. it works. Use your you know, quickly. how it falls in line and place. Yeah, because otherwise you'll, you'll continue to be ignorant and you'll miss out on, on learning and receiving some really great Knowledge that can help you and that you can help others with as well. Right. Um, you know? That's right. We'll so, see. Yeah. So thank you so much. Anyone that want to reach me, Queen Diva, Divine Voices, um, Diva Diamonds, you look at any of those, you'll find me. I'm, I'm online. And I'm not the Queen Diva. I'm not the Queen Diva that does the bounce music. That's not me. So okay. I just want to make sure people know because there's another Queen Diva. That's just several. Okay. But, um, I'm the first queen diva. I've been yeah. around since 1999. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> she been 1999. She been so, you know. deviant, deviant since 1999. Not partying yeah, honey, like it's 1999, but you know. Yeah, honey. I, I remember the 90s. The 90s was a really great time. Um, yeah. But you know, the 20, the 2020 is actually going to be amazing. A lot of people are you know, kind of thrown off on how the year is and they think this is a bad time. No, I think this is a good time to reflect. This is a good time to, um, you know, to plan, prepare, and proceed. Those three P's is what came to me this morning. I shared that, that I have an accountability partner. And I recommend that for anyone that's listening to to have an accountability partner. Mm-hmm. An accountability partner is someone that you talk to every day, either talk to, text, call, whatever. And you share with that person what you want to accomplish for the day. Mm-hmm. And that person's going to keep you accountable to make sure you get that accomplished. And then you follow up every day or every day or once a week or however you want to connect with your accountability partner. And I guarantee you, anything that you want to get done that you put off getting done or you never really thought you could achieve, if you have an accountability partner that you can connect with, that person will help you get those goals accomplished. Mm, and that that's a great start. That's a great Absolutely. start. That's a Absolutely. Start. So make that a make that a point for the remainder of twenty twenty to get yourself an accountability partner and, and come up with a short term goal and a long term goal and then every day share with that accountability partner what you're working on toward achieving that short term goal and that long term goal. And mm-hmm. I and you will I guarantee you, you will achieve your goals. That's how mm-hmm. I got my book, uh, my Diva Diamonds book. I got that completed. I did my off Broadway and Broadway show. I moved here and got into grad school because I had an accountability partner to tell me, okay, did you write your email? Did you get your transcripts? Did you get your And they just went down the list. Everything that I shared with them, mm-hmm. that person turned around and told me, did you do that? Did you do this? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And then as I do everything that I checked off, it got done. Right. It got done. So if you do that, I guarantee you, you do that in remainder of 2020, whatever you've been putting off doing, you will get it done. And this will be the best year ever. Don't worry about what's going on right now. Just concentrate on what you haven't done or, or even scratch the service to get started with. Start now. Oh, uh, come on. Start now. Words Start of, now. That's those words of wisdom. 
And that that's a guide on how you can do for yourself. Absolutely. Ah, right, thank Absolutely. you a lot, Queen Diva. We appreciate it. Until next time, it's Verbal Pick Radio, and we out. <laughs>